For 45 years, the best in the sport have come to play world team tennis. From former number ones to the young champions of the game, the summer has belonged to them. The grace and power to which they play the game has often left us in awe. Today, we celebrate the best of world team tennis. The superstars of today have gathered in one place for a glorious weekend to showcase their talents, as well as bring the joy of tennis to the fans. The 2020 World Team Tennis All-Stars are next. Carlsbad, California, just north of San Diego, is all set to serve as host for the World Team Tennis 2020 Celebrity All-Star Special. Giants of the sport and celebrities alike are on hand for what is going to be a very fun and exciting afternoon. Can you pump us up a little bit? Give us your best. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Omni La Costa. I'm Nick Gizmondi. Glad to have you along here on CBS Sports for a day that, as I said, will be fun, but also filled with competition. Some of the biggest stars in the world team tennis are here today to compete and have a great time. It's an excited crowd. It's a sellout crowd at the Omni La Costa, and it is California, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that the weather holds out. We've got a great day of coverage for you. Daniela Hantakova is courtside for interviews. Jason Knapp will have the call up in the booth, and he will be joined by Katrina Adams. All of that coming up in just a few moments. CEO Carlos Silva is in his second year with World Team Tennis. In that time, he's expanded, and he's done some very exciting things for not only the sport, but World Team Tennis. We're gonna catch up with him in just a few moments, but before we do that, let's take a look back at his first year, the 2019 season. It was exciting. This is our Geico Flashback. The 44th season of World Team Tennis began with what some would call its deepest lineup since its inception in 1974. With stars such as seven-time Grand Slam winner Venus Williams, 10-time ATP champion Sam Querrey, and the most decorated doubles team in tennis history, Bob and Mike Bryan, the three-week season began with two new teams as the Orlando Storm joined the Vegas Rollers as the league's newest franchises, bringing more World Team Tennis action to the already big legion of fans. But possibly the biggest news of the 2019 season happened off the court. A new leadership change brought a chance to revitalize a league that is one of only five active sports leagues that have been in existence for more than 40 years. The grueling three-week season came down to the final weekend's play with the New York Empire, who bounced back after a start where they lost three of their first four matches, taking on the regular season champions, the Philadelphia Freedoms, and the 2018 champion, Springfield Lasers, taking on the number three seed and three-time King Trophy winner, the San Diego Aviators. The Orleans Arena was packed with rabid tennis fans as the Empire and Freedom battled through their semifinal match. It took an extended play victory by the women's doubles team of Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez and Kristen Flipkins to secure the upset victory for the Empire. Oh! And they win it on the left serve. Everything going right for the New York Empire tonight. For the defending champion Springfield Lasers, it was no easier. It took a tiebreak victory by Olga Gavortseva to put them in the title match. That's long, and Springfield pushes on. The repeat run not over yet. The WTT Finals would have it all. A 25-minute set where the Empire fought off a set point, a dominating performance by Springfield in mixed doubles, and a victory in men's doubles by Evan Song and Robert Lindstedt, giving the Lasers the championship for the second year in a row. Well, it was an incredible 2019 season, as you saw right there. And the man responsible for it, as we told you, the CEO of World Team Tennis, Carlos Silva. And 
You are a guy that continues to raise the bar. I, I want to start with this event right now, the, the World Team Tennis Celebrity All-Star Match. Uh, I mean, what a great partner La Costa has been. How exciting is this going to be today? Oh, it's great. It's great to extend our season, you know, bring all the greatest World Team Tennis players together, Nick, uh, you know, here with our All-Star Match here in 2020. Yeah, obviously a, a sellout crowd getting filtering in here today. So we're going to see uh, a very exciting match. You've got all the stars here. Something else that I... I love about you is that you continue to grow this. Last year, two expansion teams in Las Vegas and Orlando. You've done it again this year with a big one in a huge market, Chicago. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, expansion starts here with the All-Star event because now, you know, we begin our season now in April. And then, then we move forward and we've got a new expansion team in Chicago with the Chicago Smash really exciting and the exciting part of that is Sloan Stevens is going to be anchoring that team which is really huge. So when you're thinking about expansion and you're making decisions on that what are your main factors why Chicago this year? Well you know we always look for big markets and you know it's great when there's an NBA and an NFL and an NHL team uh, it's great to back into that and Chicago is a great tennis town you know Sloan's from Chicago so it made sense for her to anchor the team and when we're looking at expansion we're looking for all of those factors. Obviously some other big things happening. I want to talk about prize money. You've upped the ante in a big way this year. We really have. I mean, the, the players get, uh, you know, paid well during the regular season as sort of part of a salary, but now we've upped the ante in the postseason. A million dollars of postseason prize money, 500 to the winners, 250 to the runners up, and even if you just make the semifinals, 125,000. So it's it's exciting that, uh, you know, we're behind it and the players are seeing, you know, we're seeing that excitement from the players. Carlos, congrats on everything. It's going to be another exciting season, and it's starts right now with a, obviously a great event here at La Costa. Appreciate everything you do and looking forward to the year. Great. Thank you, Nick. All right. Carlos Silva, the CEO of World Team Tennis. We've got much more coming up here as we continue to lead up to the 2020 Celebrity All-Star Match. We'll meet the teams, Team Sharapova and Team Brian Brothers, when we come back after this. World Team Tennis Celebrity All-Star Special on CBS Sports is sponsored by Barefoot Hard Seltzer. New Barefoot Hard Seltzer. Wine glass optional. John Hardy, the official jeweler.